one of the BIM Sheet's groundbreaking feature is to extract model data directly to your existing Excel calculation. Furthermore, the extraction logic can be saved and reused. My name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use groups to extract data from the models to your Excel calculations. In the Getting Started tutorial, we used object classes to extract our model data to our Excel calculations. Although this seems like a straightforward and good idea, there are some issues. Most of the time, the object class in BIM basically means the type of tool that was used to create the object. So you can model a wall with a wall tool, but you could also model a part of furniture or curb with the same wall tool. All of these will end up representing wall object class in the model. But no worries, the more versatile way to extract data from the model is to use groups. In SimpleBIM there are three kinds of groups, manual, rule-based and the combination of these two. All these can be used for extracting data to BIMSheet. The details about creating groups is out of scope for this tutorial. Please check the other tutorials to learn more. In this tutorial we assume that you already have some groups available. So the goal is to replace the data extraction rules we created earlier based on object classes with an extraction rule based on groups. Let's see how this works. First open the Getting Started BIM sheet. Ok, the groups are created and managed in the object palette. Make sure that it's part of your workspace. You can add it from here and drag it anywhere you like. You should have for example a group which name is internal walls and the actual internal walls assigned to it. Click the group to visualize and make sure. Add a new sheet to the BIM sheet and simply drag and drop the group to it, just like you did with the object classes. Configure the properties just like you did with the object classes. You probably don't have to use any filters because the group is already filtering the objects for you. As you can see, the sheet now only has the internal walls in it. Great. The only difference compared to using object classes basically is that the groups are more flexible. They could have object instances from multiple object classes in them. The name of the group is saved to the data extraction rule. If you now save the BIM sheet, then whenever there's a group in the model, which name is, in our case, is exactly internal walls, then this sheet is able to automatically fill itself with the data of the objects included in that group. Here's another model, which has the same group in it, and it works. Pretty cool. If you notice that something was missing from the group or you added extra objects to it, then you can simply add or remove objects like this. Reload the BIM sheet and the calculation is updated. One final note. The BIM sheet doesn't care how the group was created and how the objects were assigned to it. If you create a rule-based group with the same name, it will work as well. Here's an example uh, which automatically finds internal walls from the model. Again, reload the BIM sheet. Since the group has the same name as the group which was used to create the extraction rule, it works. Nice. That's it. There's other ways to extract data to BIM sheet, but these are less automatic and more ad hoc kind of ways. Please check the other tutorials to learn more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.